Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I've decided to do a bit of Euro Truck Simulator 2 and the reason for that is I was already planning on doing it but a few people have requested it so I thought it's a great time to do it so I might as well do it. So that is the only reason why really but I'm going to get straight into it and uh, just show you basically first of all where I am with the game. I debated whether to start again and decided not to because it's quite a long build up just to get a decent lorry otherwise you're working for other people. So I'm called Dagawin Logistics, naturally. Uh, I'm a skilled worker, apparently. Level 12 with 17,709 experience points. I've driven 9,879 miles, so a fair bit, uh, with a rating of five. If I look at my progress history, you can see that I'm, well, it didn't go too well just there, but the rest of it was okay. Quite a, a steady climb. Um, I've explored 26.87% of the roads, uh, done a bit of free roam, 35 deliveries finished and one cancelled, probably because someone crashed head on into me in multiplayer. Game time spent 46 days, 9 hours and playing time in real life, 18 hours and 31 minutes, so quite a long way in. So yeah, I'm driving the DAF XF Space and it's done 8,531 miles, so I've had it for nearly all the time I've been driving on the game, with 0% damage, so that's good. Um, Obviously just the one garage and one truck, one driver, profit, yeah, zero because I don't have any other trucks or workers. And my money currently stands at 84,000, so it could be worse, we'll put it that way. But let's get straight into this. Uh, I'm playing single player, I wanted to do multiplayer but there wasn't enough people in the server. So I have to play later, record later next time I do it. Everyone seems to be in at night, uh, I have to get into the Europe server. So, here I am, we should have traffic, because I'm in, yep, single player, um, let's check the job market, freight market, I don't want anywhere, anywhere too long, I'm in Glasgow at the moment, because it will, it will spin it out too much, and I just want to have a quick one to begin with, um, that one could be okay, Cardiff, that's too far to begin with, the longer ones I will do, but I'll have to split them into parts, Calais is probably okay. So it's between the one to Calais or the one to Cardiff. Um, I mean the one to Calais is probably more convenient for me because I'll be doing more in Europe anyway. Cardiff's going that way to Wales. So yeah, I'll do Calais. Don't know how long this will take. I'm going to try and stay in cab view most of the time. I like to anyway. Um, and of course being as realistic as possible as much as the time as I can. Okay. So we're going to pick up our trailer which is just up the road here. It is a shame that I'm in, not in multiplayer but there is uh, just not enough people in and it'd be like I was playing on a dead town. So not really worth it. Had to do single player but next time hopefully uh, if I play later at night, um, there will be a decent amount of people in. That's in the Europe server number one. And of course, I am playing as usual with my steering wheel and pedals. It's a Logitech G27 for anyone who doesn't know yet. Uh, it works very well with this game. I used to use the H shifter, but um, I just don't at the moment because I just I don't know. I just got I found it in the way. I probably should set it up again. It works fairly well. But I haven't really got a problem with the automatic gearbox as well, so. Anyway, here we are. Let's just book our trailer. Yep, uh, this one to Calais. Really nice interior in this lorry as well. Okay, here we go then, let's go and begin our 
562 mile journey. Hmm. Quite a long time. Uh, thinking about it, this is probably going to be split in two parts as well. I was hoping my first one would be fairly, fairly short. Don't know why my wipers are on then, but they were. Come on. Right, so 30 miles per hour is the speed limit in this area. Not seen too many speed cameras. There is one, I think, which can get you. Keep an eye out for that. Here it is here. I think that's it now. I don't think there's any more. Okay, we should be okay now. 50 miles per hour. Let's get going. Let's begin our long journey. Having said that though, that's not a very long journey because you can do some really long ones across Europe and they take a long time. I've just finished one actually. Um, it was from Salzburg to Am uh, yeah Amsterdam and that took a while good run though there was a few hills and it was a heavy load, it was a 25 ton digger uh, and that that was a bit heavy up the hills especially with this truck, it's, it's not a very powerful one gonna have to upgrade it I think um, I should be able to upgrade it very soon actually I'm on level 12 so should be too far off. I should actually check that and see what I can get for this truck now. So I uh, have upgraded the engine three times and the gearbox, but there should be there should be another one available to me any time now on a higher level. So have to check that. I've got my beacons. Uh, I don't think I need them on. I know a lot of people in multiplayer, um, especially at night, you just see this massive flashing disco in front of you and you get to it and it's just one truck sat on the side of the road with all its beacons on um, a lot of people seem to do that it can get quite annoying actually uh, I don't do that I do have the beacons on if I've got a wide load but I try not to do it at night because it just flashes everywhere and you can't even tell where the light source is so yeah I try to uh, try to control myself when it comes to using the beacons. Uh, I know a lot of people just have them on for the sake of it, even if they haven't even got a trailer, which is quite interesting. And I was doing a journey, actually, from Grimsby down to Southampton uh, yesterday on this, and I was in multiplayer. It was fairly busy, the server. And I don't know who it was, but they... Uh, was sat on the side of the road, it wasn't a, a motorway or a dual carriageway, it's just literally a single road, um, a single lane road, and they were sat on my left, facing towards me, so on my side, facing the wrong way, and as soon as they saw me go past, they accelerated and just pulled out straight in front of me, lengthways across the road. I hit it, of course, I couldn't stop in time, speed camera, um, I hit it. I flipped over across the map. Um, my truck went completely upside down. Everyone else who was following me just sort of sat there and tooted the horn. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to move, am I? Uh, so I had to reset, of course. And he just got away with it. He just carried on driving with no damage, I don't think. Well, he must have had a bit, but barely any. I don't know how it happens. How can he be the one which causes it and just carry on driving and then I have to reset? Hmm. I have no idea. But yes, it happens a fair bit in this game, and especially in multiplayer, uh, where people just crash into you for the sake of it. No idea why. I guess they think it's fun. Uh, but people who are trying to play re realistically, it sort of ruins the experience. But enough of that. Let's not get too much into um, a rant and a rave about all of that. So, we are 504 miles from our destination. Uh, obviously because we're going to Calais, uh, it means crossing the English Channel, so some of that is not driving distance. We will be on a ship or a ferry uh, some of that time, so it won't actually be as long as it looks. It won't really be 
um, driving 500 miles. Some of it is just click, let's go to Calais, off we go, and then we, we appear in Calais, and pretty much that will be the end of our journey today. Uh, hopefully it will all fit into one part. I was going to keep it fairly short and sweet to begin with, but it looks like um, it's going to be a bit of a longer video today. And the video is actually released later today as well. I normally release my videos at 3 GMT, um, but because this is a longer video and my internet speed is atrocious, uh, it's not going to be released at 3, obviously. You're watching it at a different time, so it's a lot later today. But I should have Farming Simulator up same time as usual tomorrow. Uh, I try and keep to a schedule, uh, but I can't always stick to it. But I will always try and stick to one video a day. It'll be rare if I go a day without uploading a video at all. So, yeah, that's just how things are standing at the moment. My aim is to always do at least one video per day. Also, I wish that in multiplayer, I, I'm guessing it's to reduce lag and server load. Um, there's no AI at all if you're in multiplayer, and like at the moment, it's a fairly empty server. You don't see anyone at all for about 10 minutes, and then you suddenly see a load of people when you get to a town. It'd be good if they had a few AI traffic along the roads, even if the server was. I suppose when, when the server's full, I guess they could turn it off actually, but if the server was empty, they could get a load of AI and, and run that as well, so you're not on your own. So it pretty much turns it into, into single player, but you've still got a few other people with you. I don't know, it's just a suggestion. I'm guessing it's just to reduce server load, which is probably a good idea. We don't want too much lag. It's starting to go dark now. Uh, I've been travelling for a bit more, and... We've got 397 miles remaining. Luckily, it's not raining, which is a bonus. Nice clear night by the looks of it. Looking out there. One thing which I've really noticed about the latest update, I can't remember when they did it, but they have done one recently, and the handling is so much better for when you're going around bends. Before, you used to get into this sort of power slide skid thing, and you can turn quite tight now, and you won't sort of... Uh, well, you might do actually if you go too quick, but it's a lot harder to skid. Um, but instead, if you go really hard around a bend, you just flip the truck instead of sort of just weirdly skidding. So they've definitely improved the handling much better, and uh, that's a big improvement. Right, well, we're getting on okay, and we've got 269 miles left. Obviously, there's the turning for Cardiff, and we're on the way to Birmingham in that direction. So the Midlands really, and um, I don't know, it's it's probably in real life about, it's about four hours from there. I thought it would be four or five hours probably to, to Dover, and then of course you've got your crossing to um, Calais. So, I don't know, three or four hours probably. Anyway, we're now on the road to London, so, hmm. It's good that they've put that sign there. You can tell exactly which direction we're going in. I try and use the, the signs actually more than the GPS. We've got Cambridge and London. Um, so we're definitely in the right direction. We're definitely heading towards Dover. Uh, we are in a London lane, which, which we want to be in that lane actually. We don't want to be coming off at Birmingham. Birmingham's just there actually on the GPS. Uh, no need to be there at all. So let's keep going and. We're actually doing this in pretty good time. I am going to have to sleep at some point, so that will knock us back a bit. But it still shouldn't be late. We should still be getting on okay. Anyway, nice open motorway still, so there's nothing really of interest to look at. So I think what I'm going to do is just keep doing what I've been doing. Uh, just, just keep stopping and recording in stages, just to show you and update you of things that are going on. That is the downside of the motorways, because you haven't really got a great deal to look at, especially when it's dark. The darkness is bad, I didn't realise what time it was, uh, but it should be coming light sometime soon. It's, it's 1.35, so obviously it's pretty much the middle of the night, but it should be on its way, and by the time we get to Dover, it should be the morning, hopefully, because we'll have to sleep. In fact, it'll probably be afternoon, because we'll have to sleep. 
but yes, we're getting on okay. Not doing too badly. I just wish we were in multiplayer because then we could do a convoy or something. Yes, I have my air horns. We're actually doing a different route now. I've decided to go via Cambridge, go that way around instead of straight past Birmingham and then down towards London. Um, just because I think it's probably going to be a bit of a more picturesque route and obviously we're going to the east of London instead of going right down to London and then going around the M25. So, hmm, I thought I would do it this way, just something different. The GPS has obviously corrected itself and we should still get there in good time. I think it's probably actually a bit quicker looking at it. Here we go, A14. This obviously goes to the east of London and straight down to the south. This sign says straight on Cambridge, London. A14 goes to Felix actually, so no, we don't stand near 14. We are coming off. Um, but this route temporarily. Cambridge, London. It looks like we're going onto the M11 then. In a minute or two. Yep, that road finishes off there. A14 is coming off there. So yeah, we're carrying on. M11 down to London. Or to the east of London to continue our voyage. Yeah, here we go, M11 motorway, good. Should be fairly quick then. Oh, services. We need services, I'm gonna have to sleep. Um, I'm not gonna make it otherwise. Here we are at the services. I need a rest stop, but there's not many spaces, which isn't good. I'm gonna to have to do a loop and come back round, I think. I've not seen it so full before, one of these services. It's literally full. There's a space there. Hmm. It's so narrow. I'll have to... Oh, here's a space. Right, okay, let's have a rest and see what time it brings us to. Oh, achievement. Zzz. There we go. Okay, it's midday. Brilliant. Perfect time. We can turn our lights off. And we can continue in the daylight, which is good. I don't want any darkness, really. Right, off we go. We've got 181 miles remaining. To Calais. I uh, don't know how many to Dover, not that much. Uh, so it's literally a case of just following this road down, then we'll join the M25 past London and we'll take the next road off there, can't remember what it is. And then we will be pretty much at the docks, ready to get on the ferry to Calais. Or actually, it could be. Um, let me just check. Yeah, we're taking the ferry, not the train. Good. So let's continue. It shouldn't take too much longer now. We're virtually there. And it's quite high payment as well because it's the ADR, so you get more. Here we go then, we're joining the M25 just to the east of London and I think I need to be in the left lane here. I have to be coming off here. Uh, Felix Stowe, London. Yep, we're coming off here. This should join the M25. Yep. So we're now in the big loop. Lucky we're only going down one side of it. Um, there's our Dover sign, so we're definitely on the right track. We'll be taking that very soon. But for the time being, we're just going straight down the M25, and then we'll be coming off uh, on the southern point, and we'll be 
heading on the road to Dover, which I'm not sure what it is. Do not want to come off there though. Not the A12. Right, so we're taking the M2 to Dover. We're coming off here, we're leaving the M25, and that road should take us straight to Dover, where we can then get the ferry to Calais. So hopefully, my turning off is here. Yes, it is, here we go. Uh, we'll be coming off here to Dover. So we're not doing too badly, really, coming from Glasgow. Glasgow to Dover with one stop, not too bad. And we can now join this road. It's not too busy either, the traffic, because obviously we've, we've missed the rush hour because I slept. Um, I just don't want to get to Calais at about five, because it'd be chaos. Thinking about it, I doubt we will. Not sure. And this is where we get off. We are coming off here for Dover. We're virtually there. 79 miles to Calais, so to Dover it's nothing. Uh, and I think that's the DA2. But we're coming off here. Quite a lot of people going this way. Right, traffic. I thought we might hit this. We have a pretty good run, though. Pretty good run. Uh, not too bad. And I want to go right out of here. What are they tooting at? On. Why are they tooting? Whoa, that is a big traffic jam. It's probably going to be an accident or something. It's chaos. We're okay to the right, but we're not okay to the left. Oh, he's let me go. Oh, good. Thank you. Right, okay, we're on the right track. We've passed the traffic, and we can continue to Dover. We're virtually there, so it's just down here. And we're then at the docks, where we can get on board our ferry, and take the, the crossing to Calais. So... We are virtually done with our very interesting adventure across the UK, or down the UK, to France. It definitely looks like Dover, doesn't it? With those cliffs. So we're definitely in the right place. Bit heavier traffic now, the traffic leaving Dover, probably a ferry coming, um, and of course we are getting on a ferry, so we're going to add to the traffic. And we are virtually there, just down this road, and we get to the docks. And Dover has actually been very well done, it looks very realistic. It's not going to say welcome to Dover because the amount of times I've been through here, uh, it's obviously one of the main crossings to Europe, so it doesn't have to say that. You've now discovered Dover. I think that's probably the first place I've discovered. There we go, look. There's a ship. Probably the one we're going on. Got the white cliffs as well. 
very realistic. Uh, yes, anyway, we're going down here. Here's our ferry. And looks like we're one of the last ones on. We're driving onto a boat. We're going this side. Next to a very similar trailer. That looks familiar. Right. Oh, I've overshot. We're off to Calais. £307. Okay. Oh, last off. Means it's clearer for us. And we've got oh, one mile remaining. So we can't be too far off. Oh, we're dri driving on the right as well now. I always forget. Okay, we're turning left here. Not a very good junction to pull out of, is it? Can't really see what's coming. Alright, we're clear that way. Oh. It's a bit... dangerous. That is a really bad junction to pull out of. Anyway, we are virtually there, so let's get into our delivery depot, drop the trailer off, see what we've made. I don't think I got damage. Oh, I did! 2% on the trailer. I don't remember seeing that. Hmm. Why have I got damage? That's weird. Oh well, it's not too much. Of course we're in heavy traffic again. Oh, it's traffic lights. But it changes red, just for me. Yep. <laughs> Can you believe it? Let's go. Next turning on the right, and that's where we're going. Hopefully the sound is actually set up. It sounds a bit quiet for me now. I thought when I adjusted it it was about right. But, I don't know, is it a bit quiet for you? The game sound. Anyway, let's pull off here. And then we're taking our next left by the look of things. Red lights as usual. Actually, it might not be up there. Probably the next one up here. Yep, here we go. NBFC. Let's see how we did. Probably not too well. Okay, so we did 547 miles, good work, so it wasn't excellent. Um, base reward, level 12, ADR, long distance, urgent delivery bonus, with trailer and damage. I got £2,000, 2500 for damage. Not sure what that was about. 
but I'm on a new level, so that's good. Um, anyway, I'll see you again in my next video, probably tomorrow. Not sure when I do another Euro Truck Simulator, um, but I'd love to hear your feedback about it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.